When you complete the configuration of a router's interfaces, that is, after it is assigned one or more IPs, it is possible to make checks using different show commands. The show IP interface brief command shows the router's interface list and their states. The interface column shows the type of interface and its location. The IP address column shows its IP if it is configured. In the column OK, if there's a yes, it's because the IP is valid, and if it's a no, it's because the IP is not good. The method column shows how the IP address was configured. The status column shows the status of the interface. If it's up, it's because it's active. If it's down, it's out of, ser out of service. And if it says administratively down, it's because it was manually disabled by a network admin with the shutdown command. And the protocol column shows the status of the routing protocol. Either it's up or it's down. Let's move on to the show interfaces command. This command allows you to see the details of each interface, or one in particular, if you add the name of the interface right after the command. Here you can see the status of the hardware interface, whether it is up, down, or if a network administrator has volunteered to disable it. Line protocol indicates whether the protocol considers the interface to be alive. The hardware line shows the type of interface and its MAC address. The words description displays what the network admin has configured as a description on the interface. Internet address displays the interface's IP address as well as its subnetwork mask. The MTU field shows the maximum size of a package that can cross the interface. The BW field shows the interface bandwidth in kilobits per second. The word DLY indicates the delay of the interface in microseconds. This is how long it takes the interface to receive a response after sending data. The word reliability means reliability. The higher the rate, the more reliable the line. For example, 255-255 is 100% reliable. This is an average of 5 minutes. The load indicates the load of the link. So unlike reliability, here, 255 out of 255 means that the link is completely saturated. It is also calculated on an average of 5 minutes. Encapsulation shows the encapsulation method that was configured for this interface. It has to be the same on both sides of the link to work properly. And the input-output rate lines show the number of bits and packets per second that were transmitted to the interface during the last five minutes. To return to the command show interfaces gigabit ethernet 00, and this is also valid for all Cisco commands, it is possible to truncate them slightly to write them more quickly. For example, instead of typing show interfaces gigabit ethernet 00, you can very well make a sh int fao o. The first line of the result of the show interfaces command provides a lot of information about the state of the interface. For the interface to work perfectly, the physical interface and the link must both be in up. The physical interface indicates whether layer 1 is working, that is, if the cable is well connected and if the type of cable is correct. Or simply, if the device that is connected to this port is well lit. And the link indicates whether the data link layer protocol is working properly. It will always be in a down state if the physical interface is down. And if it's down while the other is up, it's because there's definitely a link problem on the link. If the interface is administratively down, and so is the protocol, 
It is because the interface has been voluntarily disabled by a network admin with the command shut down. And if everything is up, it's because everything works perfectly. These four possible combinations are very useful in troubleshooting a network.